computer immediately sounds like a jet engine starting up. I mean, that's how it should. Yeah, I mean, it is a jet engine. <laughs> I always like to run an ad at the beginning and then there's no ads for like the first half hour once people come in. Like there's no pre-roll, mm. which is nice. Also, we're on. People can hear us. Hey, people. Welcome, welcome. There we go. Pre-roll's disabled for 21 minutes. It's looking out. Okay. Then refresh. See how our bitrate's doing. How's the delivery? It's low. I'm scared already. Oh, did you sub? Mm -hmm. Thanks, dude. Hey, welcome everybody. Hey, yo. I got my buddy John with me today. We're playing some classic Vidya. This is, uh, what game is this again, John? Uh, I mean, it's Super Mario World, dude. You already got a Yoshi? I was setting up the stream. Yeah, man. I'm trying to... Can I steal that from you? I don't think so. that works? No, I don't believe so. Does this... I remember in Super Mario Bros. 3, you could do the thing where you challenge someone to like the mini game. Right, right, right. This doesn't have that, does it? No. The only thing you can do between players, I think you can give extra lives. Or, or lives, not extra, but... For those who don't know the secret of World 1, once you hit that yellow switch, then you can get mushrooms out of the yellow blocks. That's a Mario Pro tip, for those who are curious. Dude, like, you already got Yoshi. Oh, okay, now we get Blue Fire. Okay, I remember everything about this game. So I'm curious, what is your... You suggested we play this together. What is your history with Super Mario World? Where did you first experience it? I mean, I first experienced it when I was like seven years old. Uh-huh. Um, I don't know, I just... Was it at a friend's house, at a store? Like, did it yeah. show up on Christmas? It was my neighbor's house. I was too poor for a Super Nintendo. <laughs> Did you have a regular Nintendo? Yeah. Okay. That was, I think, I remember a statistic in Nintendo Power at the time, where they said, it was when the Super Nintendo came out, and they were saying, someone sent a letter that was like, are you planning on stopping support for the regular Nintendo now that there's a Super Nintendo? And Nintendo Power said, and I'll take it with a grain of salt, their own reported statistics, but they said... No, because a third of homes in America, like 33% of Americans, have a Nintendo. So, we're not going to give up on that. Like, there's, I don't think they use the term attach rate, but you know, that's what they're talking about. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I had just gotten done saving up money for like a year and a half to buy a Nintendo when the Super Nintendo came out. So really? I, I can't do this again. Were you saving up as, wait, so as a five, six, and seven year old? You were saving up for? I mean, yeah, basically, dude. Um, and then I always give my parents shit about it, but like, it's the only thing I wanted for Christmas. And um, and we went downstairs and, and opened presents, and I didn't get a Nintendo. Mm -hmm. And I thought for sure Santa must have just like left it in my room <laughs> for me. So I went up to my room, and it wasn't there either. And I was very confused about not having a Nintendo from Santa. And mm -hmm. I, Sure, my parents felt like absolute shit. Yeah, I'm thinking about it from the parents' point of view. Also, hello, Gala Gals in the chat. Hey. Gala Gal, you'll have to let us know. We're doing, of course, an experiment. Let us know if our audio levels and everything are okay. Like, I think my controller. But you gotta press the, like, if you leave it. The, these are nice wireless uh, yoke off brand Super Nintendo Classic controllers, but. They don't die, but they'll turn off if you don't use it for a couple minutes to save the battery, I suppose. But anyway, thinking about it from the parents' point of view, <laughs> it sounds like just one of the worst things is like you go through all the efforts, like you know, try to give your kids a good Christmas, but no matter what, there's like something else they wanted. Like I remember being a kid and like getting everything and still thinking like, what if there was more that we could have gotten? So it's just like kids, they're ungrateful. Or maybe that was just us. I, and you know what? Like my parent, my parents thought that they had done like a really great job because they, they they bought me a bike, and I was just like, I, this is not what I wanted. I wanted a Super Nintendo. <laughs> not just regular at that point. Oh, that was okay. That was a year or so before. I remember we saw. So again, the first Nintendo when we moved uh, to the house where I grew up in, that. 
that I was still living in when we met later on. Like, we met in like high school. Um, but I was like pre-K, I guess, but then the kids across the street were like first grade in kindergarten and they had a Nintendo. So that was my first experience with Mario and I was just like, I gotta have it. I know this is across the street and I can go over and play it. And there were other kids too, like in the other cul-de-sacs or just down the street. Like everyone had Nintendo, so there was enough Nintendos in the neighborhood. I very well could have just played other people's Nintendos in perpetuity, but I needed it. You needed it. I needed it. That was the same. All right, so you can get a lot of extra lives on this level. Okay, that might be necessary. Do you want me to teach? Do you want me? Yeah, to just teach show me how to do it. Yeah, give me the okay. heads up. Yoshi's scared, by the way. Remember the yeah. lore. Yoshi doesn't fuck with castles. Uh -huh. All right, so the trick is that like you have to. Do I like, bonk him? Yeah, bonk him. But you always have to do it from the same side. So if one comes on the other side, do not punch him. Oh, okay. So, so do, don't punch do him. Do not punch him. Okay. I forget so how to... So you always bonk. have to bonk him from the top. Okay. And you just stay on the fence the whole time. And eventually, it'll it'll turn into extra mints. So you could go get that one on the left. Okay. But just don't worry about the guy that's on the other side. Okay. Is he going to flip around? Oh, shit. It's going to take a while. And, and the, I forgot, this is one of those old games that has a clock. Yeah. You can only stay in the level for so long. Right. Well, I'll get this next guy over here. This is top of the line 3D graphics is what they're doing here. They're going behind and in front. Yeah, I mean, you and I might have different ideas of 3D. <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so get that guy when he comes back around. For sure. I can just stand there. I don't even have to go down and bonk him. He just comes up on my butt. It's over. Indeed. It's over. <laughs> Alright, let me get this guy. Sorry, buddy. You can tell, like, it's starting to get more high-pitched. Yeah. That means we're getting close to a one-up. And, and here you have the door, and you can get on the other side, and now you okay? can go over there and bonk those dudes. Okay. There you go. Tap, tap, let me in. So my first exposure to this game, should I go back to something? Yeah, go go grab that dude. I uh, I played, you remember Kmart's? Yeah. They had a Kmart near me that had the Super Nintendo on display, and it was just like, you know, in later years, um, they, they would put up systems in like these special boxes and everything at Blockbuster or whatever, or Toys R Us. Uh, I And I think it was ultimately because, oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Let's just get on with our lives here. But they just had like an open on top of some cardboard boxes like come play Mario. And I probably played through over a couple months, like the first four or five worlds of the game. And I'd be upset if I came back and like someone else had changed my save file uh -huh. or, or overwritten it or something. But we, and I didn't even think, I don't even think I started with Mario World. Like when we got the Super Nintendo, it was a year or two after the fact because again, I could very well say to my parents so quickly after we'd gotten the Nintendo, like, okay, it's time for another one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I think I started with Zelda. I got like the base system and then bought Zelda separately. Right on. Yeah, I was never, I was not a Zelda kid. Oop. Not, not until Ocarina of Time. Uh oh. You're good. Ooh. You know the system apparently. Have you played this recently? Yeah. It's been uh, years. There you go. Yeah, no, I, I, on the, on the Switch, I have an almost complete save file. I've got like three exits that I need to find. I gotta put on my blue blockers. This way, I can game all day. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> So thanks anyone that's joining in and checking out this retro stream. It's a freaking retro Nintendo Monday. Uh, it's me, you know me, Dr. Comics. This is my buddy John. Yo. In town for Thanksgiving. We're having uh, nostalgic retro flashbacks to games from our youth. Indeed. Press the button. Be patient. <laughs> okay, that's World 1. World 2, this is where you... S oh, you don't say it. This is where the cape shows up. Yes, sir. <laughs> the cape was a big deal. I mean, remember Mario 3 we had 
the uh, the raccoon tail. Yeah, but that shit was kind of right. That was what you think? I I mean, in retrospect, yes. Yeah. Oh god. Compared to the cape, which one do you want? The, yeah, there you go. And now you got the. Now I'll get your revenge. Okay. Well, I don't care. What's the system with the Yoshi coins? You get four and a one up? Five. Five and a one up. Oh, yeah, it's like so unnecessary because mm -hmm. it's so easy to get extra lives in this game. Yeah. So there is. I think that's the, the current retro conversation about Mario World is that it's too easy. Like Mario 3. Mario 1 is. Probably the best balance. Literally never beat it. Yeah, I mean, remember um, my old roommate, Patrick? Yes. Good friend of ours? Indeed. He would beat it pretty regularly. Yeah. He would like, it'd be like the seasons would change and he would have to go beat Mario again. He and I used to go through this game a lot too. Yeah. But some people say Mario 3 is the best in terms of like a balance for challenge. And then Mario World is just too. There's, there's too many opportunities to like get overpowered or get too many one ups and the stages themselves. I guess there's probably some exceptions. I mean, there's some hard ass levels. Yeah. In this game. If we play long enough today, I'm certainly going to hit the point where, oh no, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. But uh, would you would you agree this is easier? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, but it's also more fun. Like, so that. That's the thing. Like, to me, this is the most fun Mario game mm -hmm. because I just think it feels good. Even more fun than the 3D stuff? Uh, I mean, like, I never really played Mario 64, um, but it seems like it's awesome, and Mario Odyssey is phenomenal. Yeah. But I don't know. Like, so you're playing the new one, new the newest one. You've yeah. got a Switch. Yeah. But there's something just very pure about this game, but it, you know handles much better than, you know, Mario 3 even. Yeah, what do you think about these off-brand controllers? Is it doing it? Uh, they, they're hurting my hand already. <laughs> okay, alright. That's, I figured. <laughs> do you think if we had the, um, the real deal, those would hurt too? I mean, they were, we're, we're yes. bigger now. Like, yeah. they were tiny, con they seemed, they seemed large enough when we were tiny children. Well, I mean, let, but they're small controllers, right? Right. And As grown also, men, I've been using a joystick for the past fifteen years, like doing the the D pad. Just, right. It kind of hurts. Right. I've actually been using, um, you know, this on stream when I'm with the fighting games. I'm using an arcade stick, and that's like I could literally play for hours with that because it's just hit the buttons there, right. and the the joystick. So. It's definitely better for long-term playing, but we're only going to be here for like another five or six hours. Oh. Holy. Hey guys, use your Twitch Prime. Hey, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you for the shout out, John. And John used it too. I was I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, I turned on my dashboard and it said, uh, whoop, it said you got a new subscriber. And it was because I had talked you into it in person. Yeah. I begged him to leave it. Yeah. He actually threatened me, but, um, <laughs> call it what you want. Call That's a Taylor Swift song. <laughs> what kind of bats are these? Uh, fruit bats? I, I mean, they're, they're not real, but... Do they look like something? No, I don't think have so. Have you ever stopped to consider, like, what is what are they trying to visually describe with this bat? I think they have beaks, okay. which is not a bat thing. Right. It's a mushroom kingdom thing. Yeah. But it's like, the more I look at it, the less it looks like anything. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it looks like a finger or something. <clears throat> What's this? Do you know? Have you memorized all the boxes? I mean... You may have missed the, the, the warp as well. That's okay. this, this level has two exits, I believe. I keep thinking that the, the stuff that's coming down or coming up from the floor is going to eliminate me. But it's never getting that high, is it? You got to wait for this one. This one is getting that. As soon as I say it, yeah. it turns out. Because that's uh, 
You know, getting smashed against things is clearly something you don't want to happen. Yeah, just in general. But it's not as stressful as, say, the Mega Man games. Which were, you remember playing those as a kid on regular Nintendo? Yeah. Even though I never I never actually owned them, but yeah, I certainly played them. And they're just, like, absurdly hard because basically everything on regular Nintendo was absurdly hard. They called it NES hard. Yeah. That's the, well, that's, I guess, the retro phrase they use now. Do you know what that... So, in computer science, it's something called N, N hard and NP hard. Well, I guess it's NP hard, but I'm assuming that's where NES hard comes from. Oh, really? It means something completely different in computer science. So. Okay, all right. That's funny. Bitrate's looking good now. So. This is the one with what? plenty of secret options. So, uh, all right, I'm, here, here's what I'll do. You, you'll get control back really quickly, but this is this is the best secret in the game. Top, top secret area. Right. Um, yeah, I remember I would open this up at Kmart and people would be like, how'd you know how to do that? <laughs> I was like, it's not your turn to play it. Yeah, rem remember the movie The Wizard? Yeah. And he found, the, he found the whistle and it's like, how did you know how to do that? Yeah. He's never played the game before. It's just he felt it. But there's nothing, I mean, that's one of those things... I don't get how anyone would ever discover any secrets in games. Like, most secrets are, especially on these old games, they're just completely random. Yeah. Like, who would guess the Konami code, even? <laughs> That's true. It's literally impossible. Who would guess any of the codes on Grand Theft Auto? Oh, you gotta get a Nintendo Power for that shit. Yeah. Which I guess that must have... You know, is either... I, I very well could have learned about the wolf whistles from the wizard. It was that or Nintendo Power. I can't tell if you're doing this on purpose. That worked out pretty well. I, I recently, um, within the last month, for the first time in my entire 38 years of, of, existence, <laughs> of existence, got all of them the same. Uh huh. Well, you really want that to happen on stream so you can clip it. Yeah, I know. Dude, get that mod. Mm hmm. All right, what should I do here? You did well, so, the secret area. Yeah, I mean, so it depends on what you want to do. So, like, I can go back and I can get the green block if we want. Okay. Um, on the water level, or, or not the water level, but, you know, the cave level, um, which is probably what I should do, because getting the blocks is always important. But That's yeah, true. Um, I just go ahead and get through this the regular way. It's a very easy level. So what you did was you flew off, right? Um, I mean, are you? Just skip it. Just so don't, just, don't pop it. Yeah, just don't pop it. Go in here. Yeah. Now hit it again. Oh, okay. This all right. I forgot all this. This is why I'm glad you're here. Yeah. People are gonna think they're gonna see this. He's never played the game before. He's lying. Oh, good. That was easy. That's how I like it. Yeah. Very, very simple. Yeah. The first, the first two worlds especially are just like super, super easy. Mm -hmm. Then we built a bridge. This is sort of, you don't see it happen. Right. But that's what's going on. All right. I'll go back and I'll get the green block. Good deal. Green block's good. It's a feather. I don't think you can hear it on the stream, but there's definitely a car alarm going on out there. Yeah. And I, every time a car alarm goes off, I'm like, who is this for? <laughs> like, what good has this ever done? No, I think it, it's car alarms are the most worthless thing in the world <laughs> at this point. <laughs> it's like, I, I could see someone literally like breaking the window of a car and I would just assume that it's their own car. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, he must have gotten locked out. So is this your most played Super Nintendo game? Yeah. yeah definitely. What else is on your, your list? Like your top five of the games that was in your Super Nintendo rotation? Um, okay, this is a weird one, but Killer Instinct. 
It's not that weird. Was was way high on my list. Oh god. There was a big push for that at the time. Yeah. Like Nintendo's like, oh, we got our own Street Fighter. We don't even need Capcom. We made this. We own Rare forever. They're not going anywhere. Yeah. But I mean, I the thing is, I got a Super Nintendo kind of late mm -hmm. in the game, and so I didn't have a bunch of games, honestly. That was the one of the last big ones. I remember, um, well, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. Right. Uh, Donkey Kong Country, which was probably a year before that. And Killer Instinct were all sort of late era Super Nintendo. Which yeah. now, it would all just be like a blur the years going by. Like the beginning of PlayStation 5 and the end of PlayStation 5 might as well be happening at the same time. Right. From my point of view. Right. But like when you're a little kid, every year seems like a lifetime. So... We think back on it, it's like, oh, the NES era lasted forever, and then the Super Nintendo era lasted forever. But it's always like a five, four or five year period. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's tough for me to say my top five because, like, is there something like that? I just, I'm not even, I don't, I don't even know, honestly. It's like my top two, basically. It's Killer World Instinct. And Killer Instinct. It's a shame that Killer Instinct's not on this SNES classic. Do they have that on, you have the Switch, do they have that as like a virtual console title you could do? I don't think so. Am I in trouble? I would be on, well, yeah. Go left. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> All right. I made a mistake there. You got this. All day. Um, oh no, I lost Yoshi. Galaga staying in Walt. <laughs> um, oh no. So it depends on how completionist we want to be. Do we do we need to get that that... Well, I'll, I'm going to get the blocks. I'll, I'll take one for the team. Thank you. I'm throwing in some of the new emotes. Uh -oh. I haven't announced this yet. If people, if you're on the channel, if you're not following yet, you should because as soon as you do, boom, the young bung. Hello. <laughs> hello, the young bung. Welcome to the stream. He's saying, hello, John and Evan. Good to have you here. Uh, nice I, to meet I, you. I, it says first time chat, so I don't know if we've chatted before. But thanks for being a part of the stream. If you're not following, like I was just saying, and you want to follow, I encourage it because you get instant access to at least three or four different follower emotes. Yeah. You, know you, you know you want that. Joke. I put the headphones in just quick enough to hear the alert. You know, uh, have you have you heard this before? I got Tina from Dead or Alive, and she says, "Yeah, Showtime." Every time someone follows. Okay, I, I have not heard that. <laughs> If you do a comment uh, for your sub to at some point, John, mm. like you, it'll it'll do the same thing. So you can like trigger an alert that way. But anyway, the young bung. Okay, okay, no need to twist my arm. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like this person. Welcome in. Enjoy the emotes. What is this one? Oh, I this is actually fun. John, can you tell what this is? You're a little far further away from the screen. Wait, where is it? Oh, is that is that the shark from the the Katy Perry <laughs> Super Bowl? <laughs> I put together I put together a left shark emote. <laughs> is that a is that a dated boomer reference? Left shark classic. <laughs> That's pretty good. Wait, did you not get this done either? I dude, I got the blocks. I told you I took both okay. of the teams. So. Okay. What do you think I should do? Should well, I get the special here? You can. What's the? Because um, you opened up the blocks, right? So I could just run up the wall. Right. Uh, actually, no. That's the pink block, I believe. Oh, uh, so, so I can't do it? a little tricky. You can start selecting get on out of here if you want. Um... Oh, that's how you do that. Do I lose my turn? Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you played me! <laughs> no, we should just move on. All right, all right. There's really nothing important down there. Mm -hmm. um, it, again, it just matters how completionist we want to be. Because, like, I think if you go through the, the warp, all you get is, like, a view of... Of the last world. All right, Young Bung's asking which one of us is Evan, and it's me. Yes. I'm Evan. This is John. We're best friends going on. It's 20 plus years, right? Yeah, it's over 20 years. We were supposed to have our 20 year high school reunion, but the whole world shut down. Yep. Apocalypse. So I assume they didn't do it. We talked about this before, right? Did they end up doing anything? I think just they, not inviting us? I think they did something. Like, <laughs> but you're not on Facebook, so it, of course, us being, you know, born in 1983 or whatever, everything happens on Facebook for our high school um, reunion. But, no, I mean, there was talk. I don't know if they actually did anything, honestly, mm -hmm. but there was talk about just, like, meeting up to go to the park or whatever, but, like, all those people have kids now. It wouldn't have been that much fun. Right, I would be honest. That was even true last time at the 10-year reunion. 
There were people like Jesus. bringing kids out to the park. See, this is the challenge of trying to have a conversation in front right. of Mario. But I was just thinking that I was just doing my Instagram scroll this morning and it sort of it occurred to me, dang, everyone everyone's pictures are just pictures of kids. <laughs> yeah. Gal Gal's saying these are the only emotes you see. How do I get the others? Um, I don't know. You're you're a follower, right? That'd be funny if she didn't actually follow the channel, but she was subscribed. <laughs> Does it not automatically make you a follower if you subscribe? I that's a good question. I don't know, but um, yeah, this one, my lovely wife Alana, I took a photo of her with lights attached to her head, <laughs> and so we got the Alana light show. Young Bunk says we probably didn't miss much at the high school reunion. I imagine everyone is the same. It's just as if they've swelled. <laughs> Harsh. Shots fired at the, at the old high school crew. Damn, I know I've swelled, so it's not far off. <laughs> the tenure was a lot of fun. I got real drunk. Yeah, I remember it was a good time, but and even it's... That's as long ago now as high school was at the time, which, does that even make sense? That's a weird comment to have. I mean, it does make sense, but I don't know why you chose to say that. <laughs> I don't know, because I'm just, because the game. It's so, it's so difficult to try to do both, that's why. That's honestly one of the reasons, I play a lot of fighting games on stream, and a big reason for why those work so well is it's always like, round and then there's a lot of downtime between rounds right yeah. so it's sort of built for the streaming structure i think okay all right i got this can i duck these yeah again just like there's weird creatures in this game you know yeah. like what is even this uh what, what would you even call it? They've probably got an official name. They do. It, it, like, so actually after you beat the game, there's a credit scene. Oh yeah, and, I remember And it that. gives you the name of every single creature, but I forget what that one's name is. Mm -hmm. Burly Brawl. Is, did you just make that up? I or? just made it up. I mean, it's fitting. It's Young fair. Bung would call it a suit sprite. Soot sprite. Soot sprite. Soot sprite. That's fair too. So I always heard the trick was if you get it like right on the left. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> I got two. I got two. A soot Sprite. You guys, look at it. We got a Soot Sprite over here. We got a Code Soot. Whoop. Hello, other people that are coming. Welcome to the stream today. We're just getting going. We're playing Mario. We're only on World 2. But before you know it, we're going to be... How many worlds are there? Eight? I have some. Okay. I don't know about it. And they've all, they're all named after types of bakery treats? Um, so far. What's the first one? Oh, it's just, is it Dinosaur Island? Uh, I don't know. Or like, well, this one's definitely Donut Island. Yeah, or Donut Plains. Donut, it's definitely Donut Plains. And then the next one's like Vanilla Caverns. And then there's the Butter Bridge. And there's some chocolate place eventually, right? Jesus. I'm making myself hungry. There, there is, yeah, maybe Chocolate Island. Yeah, this is wild. So Gally Gal follows, which is good. Thank you for the support. But you're saying you don't see the very cool follow emotes? Like, I'll just throw it in again. Boom and boom. These are my two favorites. Alana Lights and Left Shark. They're just creatures in the Studio Ghibli films that look... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. The Young Bung makes a good point. Remember the, the sort of sit sprite looking characters in... Uh... Which one specifically? Spirited Away or something? Spirited Away, I would guess. I was one I want to say Princess Mononoke. But Oh, it could be too. Yeah. Princess Mononoke has some creepy some creepy creatures for yeah. sure. But you're supposed to like you're supposed to be on their side. They're creepy, but they're it's their forest. Right? Right. So it's like the humans are the real bad guys. I think is the moral of that movie. <laughs> yeah. Someone described the other day, uh, I saw someone describe, oh, uh -oh. oh <laughs> whoa, they were describing Avatar as James Cameron's live action remake of Fern Gully, and I was like, exactly, <laughs> if anyone remembers that one. Uh, Fern Gully might be better. It might even be better. 
Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I was gonna argue, but I don't. I don't think I can. I mean, I I actually liked Avatar when it came out, but mm -hmm. it's like in in retrospect, I just don't think it's that good of a movie. Mm -hmm. When was the last time you watched it? Uh, I mean, it's, since it came out, it, pretty much. Yeah, I've probably seen it once in the last ten years or something. Ooh, Yoshi. My neighbor Totoro. That's good. Yeah, that might be where the sit sprites are at. And no, Galaga still doesn't see him. We gotta get Twitch support on the board. Yeah, call him up. Now I was told, can I eat these guys? Uh, I don't think so. Hit him from the bottom. Okay. And now we're here. Hit him from the bottom. Now we're over. Oh, what the heck? Uh oh, <laughs> what the heck? Uh -oh. that was ill advised. <laughs> I'm still gonna beat this level though. We're we're but we're getting close to the part point where um, I realize here's another sort of old man moment. It's like I'm not as good at ba this is like real Twitch gaming, right? This is I was making this joke <laughs> earlier of I'm gonna start leaning into the jumps I make. <laughs> so so one thing with this game, Whoop. sometimes it's best just to move fast. Yeah, like Whoop. and just kind of try to get into the flow of it. Uh -huh. God. Okay. All right. All right. You got it. I missed my cape. <laughs> I like the um, refresh stream. Oh yeah, that's a yeah. Offering the advice, maybe Galagon needs to refresh the stream to see it. Oh, uh, you got the bonus game. Oh, gotta pay attention. Yeah, I just set these new em em emotes yesterday, and I haven't filled out all the slots. Uh, I I got to, I finished Left Shark, and I was so proud of myself, I walked away. Because I thought that came out really nice. Oh, boy. This just stays between us. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, there's more emotes to come, is the bottom line. Because I know there's still uh, slots that are empty. Because again, they give everyone now five, if you're an affiliate, you get five sub emotes. And I think everybody gets five follower emotes to start, which is a nice sort of boost for uh, small and new streamers. And small new streamers. What about news streamers? What would, what do they have? Like emotes of the newspaper? Could you like, yeah, could you reasonably do like um, an emote of like uh, a newsie holding up a paper? Can you get that? Can you get all that information like, in a little image? Like Christian Bale? Yeah. Yeah, just Christian Bale from Newsies would be a good news emote. <laughs> but I don't see, I don't see us uh, going in that direction. We're going to do our best to avoid political conversations during this stream. Trust me, guys, it's a good idea. <laughs> what was our favorite Ghibli movie? Good question. Do you have one? Do you, I mean, it's do you like Porco Rosso? It's probably uh, Princess Mononoke for me. But, yeah. Um, Did you get to see that one in the theater? I remember that came out when we were in high school. It was at the, the AMC yeah, in I, town. I did not see it in theaters, but the first time I saw it was actually in Nairlik's class. Mm hmm showed it in school, which was always fun. Yeah. That class was great. Fuck those coins. So yeah, I really like that one too. I remember the, um, part of the advertising, at least for comic nerds, was that Neil Gaiman had done the translation. Okay. And so that was kind of neat. Like, you know, back years ago when I, when Neil Gaiman's name would be enough for me to say, oh, it's probably good. Right. I, I definitely bought a book one time because Neil Gaiman had a book. Uh -huh. It was a good book, though. What was the book? Uh, Gene Wolfe, The Night. Galio spamming the cat emote, which is good to see. I've also got a dog emote. I forget which one's that, that's set out. Some of these, of course, are set at the high tiers. Is it just wishful thinking to like even have a tier three for subs? Unfollow and refollow? Maybe that works. I like Young Bung's Young the Young Bung's ideas. So the Koopalings made their first appearance in. Oh wait, I have to actually jump on them. Yeah, <laughs> you can't just avoid them. 
and then let the clock run out. Uh, these are him falling down and like doing the stretch and everything. This is some of the um, the Mode 7 graphics that Super Nintendo was famous for. Do you remember the advertising for that? No. Well, you played F-Zero, right? Or oh, yeah. Mario Kart? Oh, hey, uh, you know what? That's that's uh, high up on my list. Yeah, F-Zero? Well. What about Mario Kart? Uh, yeah, that as well. I played a ton of Mario Kart. It's no Double Dash, though. It's no Double Dash. But at the time, we didn't, there was no Double Dash. It didn't exist. There literally was There was no... Dash. Trust me, guys. There wasn't. I think Princess... I'm not going to try to be contrary. I think Princess Mononoke is probably my favorite Ghibli movie, too. Yeah. Uh, but the first one I got, actually, was My Neighbor Totoro. We got that on VHS. And do you remember the Disney movies used to have the clamshell? Like, the, you know, the yeah. pop-open packaging? Yeah. They did that for My Neighbor Totoro, too, even though it wasn't Disney. Uh -huh. I think it was like a Fox release that it, they had brought it in. But they're like, this is what the kids want. They want the <laughs> clamshell. That's how you got to sell it. I tried. Gally Gal tried. Oh, well. I'll just have to enjoy other peeps posting them. Dang, that's rough. It's rough. Let's see. Starro. Can you even tell this is Starro? I don't even know who Starro is. Oh, the big star. Did you not see the new Suicide Squad movie? Uh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, I got you. Okay, yeah. I guess you gotta continue. You gotta press the button, dude. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Quit backseating. <laughs> that tag is allowed. Backseating is allowed. Feel free to tell me how to play the game. John might get upset. Did so another? Let's just talk about all our friends while they're not here, but only say nice things about them. Uh, our other friend BJ, I think, probably had the biggest collection of Ghibli movies. Yeah, I don't right? believe that. He was going and buying them um, from the local video store, we'll just say that. And I remember he got like uh, Castle in the Sky, Porco Rosso, which I think that was like the pig pilot. And I think the another sort of American advertising they did there was they said, it's Michael Keaton as the voice of this pig pilot. So. Oh boy. Yeah, it was really nice to have a, to have a feather. Too. Yeah, I'm remembering that now. So is that a feather in that block? Um, I'm gonna check. It might be. I'm gonna check. It's not. It's not. It's not. Flowers used to be good, but the feather the feather killed the flower. What? How do I get over this? Thing? Uh, go go grab one of those uh, turtle shells. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luckily, I've got 300 real seconds. Are these slightly faster than seconds? Uh, you want to throw it? I know. Yeah, you're good, though. No! <laughs> no! Oh, I wanted to do that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I, I mean, I think it might be a cave, but it may also just be another mm. flower. Mm. Oh, BJ had the, not the biggest collection of Ghibli movies, as the Young Bung, po the young bung points out. It was the largest collection of human remains of all of our friends. Very impressive. Also. So this is where we have fun. Am I gonna get a one up? You certainly are if you get him. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it when they add a challenge. Thirteen lives, that's unlucky. I need fourteen or more. Was that only half a level? These guys are fireproof, by the way. But not other shell proof. Whoa! Whoa! These guys also fireproof. What's even the point of this fire flower? It's, it, I mean, they just always suck. Like, oh. I don't have this. Wow. It's really <laughs> That's how I play. That's how we roll. There we go. some juice right dino coin the next the next big trend in crypto <laughs> oh you know what don't give him any ideas <laughs> i would not i would genuinely not be surprised dino you guys are doing well on accident yeah well it's like i'm taking your advice of just going faster yeah. the young bunk says he could have sworn i swore i heard human remains but i got him yeah. I swear I heard Human Remains, not Ghibli movies. I mean, that's not what he said, but it is true. It is true. He did act, you guessed correctly, by accident. Just the way I beat that level, luckily by accident. 
This is, I think this next level, I'm glad you're doing it because I think this is when I... Uh, where it gets hard for you? Yeah, the last time when I got the... Because we're on Super Nintendo Classic. When I got this, you know, I, like, I went back and tried all the games. And honestly, the one I stuck with was Mario RPG. I still haven't re-beat re it since I was a kid. I got up to the last boss there and then I just put it down. But I was also, I was save scumming on that. Every time I lost like a random... You know, because it's all it's RPG random number generation fights. Yeah. So every time I lost a big battle, I would just like restart the fight. Saves coming. It's the it's the way of emulation. I mean, can't you just? Oh, so you're not talking about like a regular. You're talking about an emulation save. Yeah, on this system. Yeah. Because we could at any point. Yeah. Uh, we can just. Just, I just press down and select. I won't do it while you're playing. But I just press it and then like save it wherever we're at. And I did that too. I was showing you um, the Genesis collection for PS3. And I that's the the only way I could ever beat the Sonic games is safe scumming Sonic. Okay. Because you have to do those special levels. And my, honestly, as bad as I am at video games now, I was also bad as a kid. I guess it's my fault. I mean... The only thing that I truly remember from from Sonic, and I believe it was Sonic 2, was the casino level because that shit was fun as hell because you just got like knocked all over the place. But there's a meme I now. Never had a Genesis, so, so just, it, just run and let him hit those dudes, and you can get an extra man. Oh god! Ah! It worked. Oh god, this guy! <laughs> Got it! <laughs> no problem. No problem. No problem at all. <laughs> Is that already three out of four switches? Uh, yeah. We're just tearing through this game. Tearing through them. Yeah, let's save it. Yeah, I wonder if anybody's ever hit continue without saving. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a good point, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. I mean, what would be the hypothetical? When would you need? When would you be incentivized to? You know, literally, literally never. Even there, when you jumped into that like PD Piranha's head, I assumed if you touched his head, you would die. But no, I guess not. Not true. Not true. It's not PD Piranha either. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> so what? He's Vinny Vine. Vinny Vine. Yeah. Okay. That's right. You gotta know where the 1-Up is. So this is a level where the Fire Flower is useful. Yeah, uh, so so I I was saying all that, and then I got here, and I was like, oh shit, I literally <laughs> just said the Fire Flower sucks, but it's great in water levels. I hope, it, I hope it wasn't being recorded at the time. So here's another random enemy. What was the thought process of, we need to put linebackers in this game? I mean, they're fucking terrifying. Jesus, on the dude. one hand, it's like you gotta appreciate the creativity, right? But on the other hand, it's like there's not really a lot of thematic consistency True. with the enemies in Mario World. True. So I've I've seen this debate online plenty of times over the years. People fight about the game is bad, and when they'll say it's bad, they'll say things like the bats don't look like anything. Why are there linebackers? What's with the soot sprites? Yeah. Why is Mario not more realistic? Than us? <laughs> yeah. But it's always been, I mean, we sort of take it for granted, but it's always been crazy. Like Super Mario Brothers 1, it's like, if you look at it with fresh eyes, it's like, what the, a, a walking mushroom with teeth? I mean, it, it's, a, it's a, a fucking plumber chasing a princess around. Like, I mean, it's weird. Yeah. It's, it's some weird ass shit. Here's Young Monk's theory, probably a Japanese studio trying to appeal to an American audience. I wonder if they're doing, if something different in the Japanese release. Is it, are the sprites different in the Japanese version? Do they have different enemies? I know I what it does so. here. Remember in this game it, um, you can like turn it to fall if you go through the star road. Yeah. And then it turns all the right. enemies into something else. Right. But I don't know if the Japanese version has a completely different setup. Yeah, I don't, I don't really think so. Yeah, he was, Young Bunk's talking about the linebacker specifically. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, that's a good point. Yeah, that actually is a really good point. So do you think, do you know the special, the other exit here? Can you guide me to it? Yeah. Okay. I'll do that. Though. 
The, it'll, um, it'll be pretty easy because we just got the pink blocks. You'll you'll see it. Okay, good deal. I wish I was an adult, Mario. Make it happen. I made my parents disappear. But that's a different movie. I was thinking about Big and then Home Alone. Home Alone. It's a great movie. I watched it for Christmas last year. I think it's still on Netflix. Have you ever heard of it? This is a really obscure movie. It's new. It's like straight to Netflix for... Maybe they made it before Netflix. But it's got Danny Glover as like a... I think a school janitor. And like a little kid gets locked in the school over Christmas. And, it's called, and then like for some reason some crooks want to break into the school. It's actually kind of complicated to describe the plot. It's just best to understand it as... It's like a Home Alone riff. Right. With Danny Glover. At school alone. Yeah, at school alone. But it's called Christmas Break-In. So you also maybe think it's one of those situations where they start with a title and they work backwards from there. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is clever. The, the, the best example of that, uh, I think, ever is... I think this is on Netflix, too. There was a movie called Rodeo and Juliet. And I was like, you guys just had the title. It was called what? Rodeo and Juliet. Oh. No. They had the title and they built the entire movie around the pitch of, okay, it's like Romeo and Juliet, but at a rodeo. Plot twist. It was actually good. Plot twist. They both get, what, run over by bulls? Because <laughs> it's a tragedy, right? Romeo, I never saw the Rodeo and Juliet. I don't know. Oh, Young Bung, Young Bung looked it up for us. His name is Chargin' Buck. No, Chargin' Chuck. Chargin' Chuck, that's right. That's right. I still read it wrong. Like, in my own mind now, I'm thinking, they should have called him Chargin' Buck. <laughs> that's good. So you gotta you gotta have two of them still there or the door disappears? No, I just... The door will always be there? The door will always be there, but you gotta, you gotta go get some of the coins, because once you hit the P, if the coins are still there, you can't get to the door. I see. There's a Star Road entrance where you're at right now, but um, I don't know if we need to go down that road yet. The star, I don't know if we need to go down the Star Road. It's, uh, I want to do it. Guide me to it. All right. Um, it's not the easiest to get, I will tell you, but um, I, I think I can remember how to do it. This is we're, we're really at a point where it's sort of an interesting option for a two-player game where we can, we've, li we've literally diverged in like where we're going. Yeah. Which I guess you could still do that in Super Mario 3, right? Because there's like different paths on the right. world map there. Yeah. But I do like, again, I like that in Mario 3 you've got the mini game, we can battle each other. Yeah. Which was, I think, the original Mario arcade. Before it was Super Mario Brothers, it was just Mario Brothers. Right. Yeah, it. I used to do it to my sister every now and then, and I would just piss her off. Uh -huh. I think, I can't remember who, who would upset more, because I would do that with not just my brother, but then other neighborhood kids. So I think you gotta use the, 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 right the here. spring here, but you gotta go to the left. Um, is there like equipment over here? There is. Okay. I didn't want that yet, so go to the left and, and lay it down. Oh, see, no, we need the, we, we have, need to have the blocks. The, we have to have the purple block. You think so? so? Yeah. Not there yet, but I can still beat the level normal style. Yes. Woo! Oh god! Well, I. What? I hate this game. It's a tough jump, dude. Well, it's less tough now. So, let's check this out. Pause this real quick, because Young Buck's saying from what they can see, the only difference is that he's named, his name is Bull in the Japanese release. Charging Bull? Maybe just Bull, like from oh. Night Court. <laughs> Remember that? That's, there's a, uh, I got a million Boomer references. <laughs> that, that one's very Boomer. <laughs> like, that one's actually Boomer, because, you know, 
FYI, guys, we're not actually boomers. Uh huh. I feel like it sometimes. We're just elder millennials. Uh huh. I'm like Eliza Schlesinger. I'm an elder millennial. But Night Court is very boomer. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, we're done here. Give me that mushroom. Galley Gal, LOL, Night Court. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you know, Hulu's got like really old sitcoms like Head of the Class or other stuff from the 80s. And sometimes with Alana, I'll try to, I'll be like, hey, you want to, or even Frasier from the 90s. I'll be like, hey, you want to watch Just Shoot Me? And she's like, no, I saw it the first time. <laughs> so this is one of my favorite characters in the game. This is Blarg. His name is Blarg? Blarg. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. That one you remember. 100%. Can't forget Blarg. I'm not even it's hard. Blarg! That's the sound you make when you see him. Well, it's the sound that he makes when he comes out of the lava, too. The, uh, well, speaking of the sound in the Super Nintendo, as a kid, I honestly thought the sound in Super Nintendo was better than Genesis. And now as an adult, I've seen enough online arguments, I'm not so sure. And it's definitely, it depends on the game. There's, you know, Streets of Rage has a great soundtrack on its Genesis. Mm -hmm. And there's, you know, most of the first party Nintendo games, Donkey Kong Country, I think, is the best soundtrack on the Super Nintendo. But the chip in here is a Sony chip, I'm pretty sure, that's doing all the sound processing. Mm -hmm. And it was like an early collab between Nintendo and Sony. And you know this story, right, where they were working on, like, a Nintendo PlayStation. And then Nintendo's like, you know what, we're just going to do it by ourselves. And then Sony's like, we will regret this decision. Which, you know, I mean, impressive enough, Nintendo's held on. I think they've both done just fine. Yeah, they've both done fine. You know who it really hurt, apparently, was Sega. Yeah. Sega's like, no, God, we can't, no, there's too many, there's too many competitors. <laughs> but I would still, like, my preference would be that everything, every game is just on one system, right? Right. Or that I could, at the very least, get these older Mario games for PlayStation. I mean, I honestly say, never say never, you don't know, because it happened to Sega, right? As a kid, I never would have thought Sega or, like, Sonic would go to the Olympics with Mario. But here we are. Here They've we done are. it. Here we are. The world is now a better place. Speak. I actually, I kind of want to bring up an image of this to show you and to show everyone else at home. So while you're playing this level, I'll look this up. This is the real thing. I'm trying to find the real design. Because what I'm getting at here is did you know Sonic originally had a human girlfriend in the original pitch not. for the Genesis game? And then they just they veered away from it. I mean that's a solid move on their part. Yeah. Just the wind. It's just the wind. You're talking about the window? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I thought well, there's somebody like, was breaking into the house, dude. No, what, what it actually is, is there's a trellis outside, and the wind is shaking that. Okay. But let us let me throw this up real quick while I'm on the overworld map. This is, I think, the original design for Sonic's human girlfriend. This actually may be fan art, but that was what the Sega was originally going to do. Yeah, that's, that's inappropriate. That's inappropriate. And now you know. All right, what do you think? Do you uh, do you want to keep going on this one? Do you want to switch to a different game? or? I mean, I love this game. You want to keep going? Okay. Yeah. You just put down your controller. I couldn't tell if it was because you were over it. No. Oh, my, my controller turned off. All right, I'm going to go up to the bridges, I guess. All right, dude. This, this It's a few hard levels up here. Is this one hard? Yeah, they're all hard. They're all hard. F. Well, they're jumping at different heights. 
this a is this a feather? It better be. Is it a Yoshi? Even better. Yoshi is my best friend. Mario's best friend. Oh, that was nice. That's that's Twitch gaming right there. Are we ready for awesome games done quick? I wonder. I've shown you. Uh, when I was at your place before I pulled up the channel of like the speedruns, where it's not even just the speedruns, but it's documentaries about like the history of setting the different records. Come on. Right. And yeah, I mean like I, like Super Mario Bros. Like yeah. One. Yeah, I wonder though where we're at with uh, like the speedrun with this game. Cause I'm sure it's super fast. Like I'm not sure exactly the route that I would take, but um, it's not that hard to get to the final world pretty quickly. Young Bung's pointing out that. he's never noticed that Yo Mario's just hammering the back of Yoshi's head. <laughs> oh shit. It's true. It's true. Jesus <laughs> Christ, man. That's dinosaur abuse. <laughs> dinosaur abuse, you that's can, a thing. You can go down there. That's four show? <laughs> okay, he sounded really confident. Oh, I was really confident about it. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Check this out. Fuck those dudes. Mario! It hurts! <laughs> uh, th that was. I have myself to blame for that. No time. There's no time. Okay. That was the one you were thinking of. But yeah, Mario's a bad ombre. Just hammering the back of this dinosaur's head. Beating up his best friend. Imagine what he does to his brother. There's. Have you heard this theory too about like Bowser's the good guy? You ever heard a variation on this like? He's the one who really cares about Princess Peach, and Mario is like the abusive plumber. Uh, I, I've not heard this. But oh I yeah, mean, well that's, it, that's it. That's the the basic summation. So it's just essentially another version of the Karate Kid theory. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. The the who is it? That Johnny's the good guy the whole time. Yeah, I forget what's his last name. Johnny Z Zuko? <laughs> is that the actor's right. name? William Zapka is the actor. William Zapka is the actor. Johnny Lawrence. Right. Johnny Lawrence. Yeah. I like that that's, uh, I mean, did you hear it on How I Met Your Mother first? That's the first place I saw it. But then they eventually, you know, they made Cobra Kai. Yeah. And it's almost great. Oof. <laughs> I think the Cobra Kai show is literally a response to, like, Barney's monologue on How I Met Your Mother. I do, too. And William Zatka was probably happy about the gig, too. Yeah. But The Karate Kid's a great movie. When was the last time you watched the original movie? Uh, it wasn't that long ago. It was um, within the last year. Did you watch it? Because you're on my Fandango again. Yeah, I watched it on your Fandango for sure. Yeah. So thanks. Yeah. <laughs> you're welcome. This is not an amicable relationship, according to the young bung. I agree. Did you pause this? You did. I did. Dude, he used the illegal head kick. Oh, we're t now this is Karate Kid talk. Yeah. I'm actually, I'm scared of this secret, but I guess I'll give it a go. I mean, they're, uh, like I said, like all the levels up here are pretty tough, but actually this one's not too bad. This one's kind of fun, and you get like Porpoise, Porpoise Paul, or whatever his name is. Uh-huh. Um, this, this guy? I thought it was Danny Dolphin. It's something Porpoise. Polly Porpoise. Oh, do um, I want fireballs here? I'm hoping that Young Bung is going to help us out. <laughs> Young Bung, help! You're my only hope! <laughs> I, I put on this game because John said he was an expert, but he's been wrong. Oh, look at this guy. It's, uh... Um, Poppin', it's, Poppin' Pete. It's something Urchin, I believe. Sally Urchin. Ah! In the Japanese release, Yoshi can eat a dolphin and turn into one. What? Is that is that for real? Is that, as they're saying now, fra fra? For real, for real? Wait, that, people are saying that? Well, they're not saying, I actually, have you seen this, the texting, where, oh, where they'll say, not perfect, best, they'll, they'll just, they'll put in the chat, FRFR, -R, no. but it stands for, for, for real, real, for real. real, yeah, 
So, uh, I, I would have, say frufra, and people be like, you're doing it wrong. I have a question for you. When you see the letters L-M-A-O. Lamau. Do you say Lamau? I say it in my head, Lamau, yeah. I've always just said L-M-A-O, and now I know that everybody says Lamau, and I'm starting to change. Yeah, well, it was... And people also say, like, Lamau. It's like, that, that just feels weird. But it is a lot of letters to just spell out. Yeah. Uh, Young Monk says, so the dolphin thing was cut in all the other versions besides Japan. I don't know for what reason. I want to, I want to turn into a dolphin at one, too. Like, like in my real life. <laughs> they're, the, they're actually terrible, though. If dolphins were people, they'd be in jail. <laughs> That's really all we could say without making this more of an adults-only conversation. But the, they're bad. God damn it. Um, but the Lamau thing... I have to admit, I used to say LMAO. And I used to think too about the band. Like, like the band with Lee Von Helm or what? No, the band that was like, what is it, LMFAO? Or? Oh, maybe. You know what I'm, the one that's like always partying? No. Alright, now I gotta look this up. It is LMFAO. You remember these guys? Yeah, probably. Party Rock Anthem. Is that the one that's like party rockers in the house tonight? Everybody's gonna have a good time. Okay. okay. But yeah, so I changed it because the memes now. I say to my head Lamau because clearly the memes, like, they wouldn't make sense if you were reading it as LMAO. Like just the cadence would be off. Gotcha. It's all about the memes. Yeah, it's all about it's all about dope memes. That's what I'm all about. Well, see, that's one that you're definitely pronouncing incorrectly. No, it's okay. All right. Well, I'm glad you're here so we could have the back and forth. But I guarantee you, it's dog rhymes with vogue. It's dog, bro. <laughs> it's dog. It's dog. It's dog. And you actually you have to say it with like again the the delivery is important. You have to say it with a certain sort of dog. Dog. It's definitely dog. Party Rock Anthem. Oh, I think Young Bung is agreeing. Young Bung is agreeing with you. Or Gal is agreeing with John. For no, they're still talking about Lamal. I'm behind in the chat. <laughs> I but we need we need confirmation on where you agree in terms of Doug. I'd say Doug. It's Doge. <laughs> it's it's uh, this is always counterintuitive too because it's hard G. The G is hard and the J is soft. John is right on the Doug pronunciation. Doge. <laughs> but and Young Bung also says Party Rock Anthem has the same BPM as Uptown Girl. See? Look at that. Look that up later for some funny videos. Okay. Reddit confirmed. Wait. I, I, I for know. who? For him? It's an insult. For me. No. Like I, Isn't Reddit confirmed an insult? I'm every everything is on Reddit, dude. I thought when people tell you go back to Reddit, they're saying you're not welcome here. I mean, maybe, but it's like you're always going to find consensus on Reddit. Mm -hmm. Well, there's definitely a lot of group. I'll say this: there's a lot of groupthink on Reddit. Yeah. If you have the wrong opinion, you know, say goodbye to your karma. <laughs> so I try not to have opinions on Reddit because the last thing I want to do is have the wrong one. I just like don't comment. I'm just yeah. like a, a serial lurker. I. I only, I, you can, I'm Dr. Comics on Reddit, so you can find my, you know, all my history and everything there. Um, but I only ever comment when it, it is something that I have the answer to. Yeah, same. Like when somebody had, whoop, there was something about uh, the Twitch mobile app that I had some experience with. So I was like, okay, I can add a comment here. This might be useful. But in general, I just like thumbs up or arrow up or whatever. I don't do a lot. I don't do a lot of engaging. And then, like every other, every four or five days, Reddit will give you. Whoop! Here comes some throwing bones. What? 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 <laughs> Reddit will give you like uh, you know awards, free ones. Do you ever give those out? And it pumps up your karma. But after a year, I'm basically sitting at about a thousand karma. It doesn't seem like a lot. There's people that are higher for sure. I mean, I have more than that, but like most of it came from like one comment like nine years ago, so. 
Young Bung makes a good point too. You can be right on Reddit and still get piled on. A lot of subreddits are really toxic. Unfortunately, they're the funniest ones, so I can't leave. <laughs> but it's best just not to get involved in the conversation. I mean, a lot of the internet, probably, wherever you go, it's a good idea to just lurk more. I mean, you, for example, this is your first time appearing on a Twitch stream, right? First time ever. And you've been active on Twitch as like a viewer for how long would you say? When did you get? When did you find out about Twitch? Uh, it was PogChamps three, the chess tournament. So, I mean, I knew of Twitch. I just hadn't right. started like actually watching Twitch. Right. But yeah, so it was it was last year sometime I think. That is funny because like, that is a different point. Like I I knew about Twitch years ago and I didn't get involved until like two years ago. Yeah. Wait, he plays chess? Oh, okay. Jamaican Senpai's in the chat. Hello, Jamaican Senpai. Hey. Friend of the channel. I'm not good at chess, so... Big fan of chess himself, so he's interested. Yeah. If John, if you ever... John's got a channel, but he doesn't stream anything. Yeah. But if you ever did, and you stream chess, I know Jamaican Senpai would be there. Word. It would be really uh, embarrassing for me to do that, <laughs> so... And I've talked about this before in the stream. My, my IRL, my actual for real brother, Ryan, is super into chess. Like when we were, I, I talked about we went, um, my dad and him, we were had a like brief weekend trip together. And Ryan was just in the hotel room at all off hours. He was like streaming chess. Wow. Watching like some, wa watching it? Yeah, just watching some tournament and like being riveted. Jamaican Senpai, also check out, there should be new follower emotes you've got access to on the channel. Uh, it doesn't sound like it's working for everybody, so I hope it's working for you. But new emotes, check them out. Feel free to spam them. Other people that are here too, feel free. Spam the emotes. We're here to have a good time and fill up the chat with emotes. I'm here. I'm here to play this tomorrow. The cat's working for him. The dog's dog. The dog is working for him. What is a dog? <laughs> what is, that's a dog. It's right there. Oh. <laughs> what do you think it is? What do you say? It's a dog, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. It's a doge. It's a doge. It feels wrong to say it with the soft G. But that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> like, I mean, it's a stupid thing just by itself. Alright, they're all working for Jamaican Senpai. That's good news. I feel bad for Cali Cow. <laughs> Did I die up in a castle? I did, yeah, you're up here. You know what? I'm getting out of here. You should get out of here. It's gonna be <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a little teeny Mario. I can't be dealing with that right it's now. It's gonna be a bit. Yeah, let's just warp over. Let's see what's going on in this new world. So this is as far as I've ever been in this game. Really? This century. Okay. Like, back in the 90s, it was a different story. Oh, these bridges are... This is fine. Cheese bridge. Cheese bridge. These levels are making me hungry. There's a there's a Star World entrance here too. It's like one of the hardest ones to get. I think even these like chainsaws count as a character. Yeah. Like they would show up. They show up in the end credits, right? And they've got a name. I think so. Yeah. So what would you call them? Chainsaw Charlie. Okay. All right. I wish I could get that. <laughs> I wish I could get that. <laughs> yeah, you will die. I will not <laughs> die. Okay! I will I will live. I'm gonna be the Mario who lived. So wait. Remember Harry Potter? Yeah, yeah. Barely. Is that still cool? I mean again, not to make it a political uh, stream. But is that one of those things where it's like we're no longer allowed to like Harry Potter? No, I think it's sort of like Michael Jackson. It's like separate separate the art from the artist. <laughs> you know, we, again, I don't want to like throw anyone under the bus, but we did, Alon and I went to a wedding last year and they didn't play Michael Jackson. It's a fucking and, waste, man. And they made a point of it at the reception to be like, we're not going to play any Michael Jackson because of the, you know, the whole situation. I was like, what whole situation? I moonwalked right out of there. <laughs> Anyway, I gotta I gotta point this out. Jamaican Simpai just cheered a hundred bits. Thanks, man. Yeah. Excellent. Thanks for the, so I think that means I owe you fifty. <laughs> I, we didn't even discuss 
your per diem for appearing on the stream. I mean, we could leave it up to him. Like, really, how many of those are for Evan and how many are for John? Let's, yeah. Let's be honest. Like, I might be the draw here. Yeah, this is our, our viewer count's doing great. We got an average of seven, it looks like, from our point of view. Could be more, could be less. Twitch isn't always exactly 100% accurate. I mean, it's probably pretty easy to count to seven, though. Yeah. If I look at the users in the chat, I don't want to call out people that don't want to chat, but you can see the names of people who yeah. are signed in. And, you know, some of them, without naming names, you have you have thoughts. You're like, okay, maybe. Maybe they're real. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I, I see what you're saying. But, I mean, but the real people who join in the chat, the young bungs of the world, the galley gals, and the, uh, oh, galley gal got it. She just tried to, oh, she copy she copy-pasted. The emotes and they're working for her. There you go. Hey, hats off to you. We got to put on. Well, you got a hat. Oh, I got to. Well, I got to switch mine. So I'll be right. Be right back. Let's see. I got a hat handy. John, keep it going. Oh, hey, I'm here, guys. <laughs> Just uh, you know, learning how to be a Twitch streamer. It's, I may quit my day job. I will not do that because that would be very devastating for me, but. Wait, was that going for 30 seconds and you immediately started talking about how successful you are? Uh, dude, like, I'm, I'm carrying this thing now. Uh -huh. All right, so if you want to switch, I think this is your style. But I mean, is it? like? Do not bend that. Absolutely do not bend that brim. <laughs> is this what we're talking about? Something like that? Yeah. You're ready for the BMX championship. <laughs> no, dude. I only ride dirt bikes. Uh huh. This hat's not as comfortable as mine. All right. You know what? That's it for that one. But what do you think of mine? This is Beaver. Like the real deal. This is a Stetson. Wow. Actually, right. it might be on backwards. It's hard to tell. It's, it's clear you wear it a lot. <laughs> I wear it on stream a lot, actually. Whenever people do the, the hats off challenge. Wait, what, what's the hats off challenge? It's just, you know, they you redeem channel points and I got to put on a hat. Oh, okay. And then if they do it again, I got to find a different hat. But luckily I got it back up there. Anyway, where was I? My controller's upside down. So, is that like Fat Mario Wings? No, it's Yoshi Wings. Well, Yoshi Wings, that's right. But it's, it's kind of weird, because like when you get the Yoshi wings, you just like go get a bunch of coins, and then you just like end the level. But you but it doesn't count as an exit, and you don't get the ticker tape, uh -huh. so like you just have to come back and do the level again. Oh, jeez. I like, I like my chances here. You got I it, I like bro. my chances you here. got it. What was it you were saying earlier about how I was going to die? I, I was I was saying you were gonna die if you went back to get that feather. Oh right, right, okay, all right, that's acceptable. But the way to get the star road, you have to fly and go under that tape, mm -hmm. come back up behind it, and it's it's really tough to do. Mm. Is it the, the first appearance of the moles? Um, no, second, I believe. Yeah, I thought they showed up earlier in the game, but I don't remember seeing them today. But I'll say this, that's an example of a character that to me makes thematic sense in Mario. Okay. The moles don't stand out as weird. And the Koopas wearing like their, what, little uh, wife beaters outside the shirt, is that appropriate to say? Can we still call the shirt that? I mean... Their undershirt. So there's, they're wearing the undershirt, and it's like, I could understand the argument of, uh, that's weird, but I think that works too, the Koopa Troopa in the undershirt. Oh, I, we, we just got a, a word ban. We can no longer say your name. Whose name? Exactly. So we'll just, I'll just stick with like, buddy. Or JC is an option too, right? Fair enough, that's, that's not my name, so. <laughs> Young Bung got up and took a shower. Now I'm a cowboy. I, that's what happens. You walk away from the stream, you never know what's gonna happen next. Yeah. It's live, baby. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a cowboy. It was thanks to Jamaican Senpai, he redeemed the, the channel points. I had to switch my hat. I had to put on a hat in the first place. 
dude, mystery solved. I couldn't do the new emotes because lunch. I was on my mobile phone. Starro. They work on PC only. Left shark. <laughs> it's good. I'm glad it worked. Got that sorted out. And this one might still be rare. I forget what... I've got a couple of different Tina from Dead or Alive emotes. You know, we're a very Tina-centric channel here. You've noticed that. <laughs> Do you remember way back in the day uh, when we played Dead or Alive 2 on PlayStation 2? Uh, a little bit, yeah. A little bit. I remember the volleyball game more, probably. But... Yeah. Any thoughts on that, of your history with Dead or Alive? Um... <laughs> I just, I don't really like fighting games very much. Yeah. And the volleyball game was the creepiest game I've ever played in my entire life. <laughs> um, you mean just because it's sexually inappropriate? Yeah. <laughs> like, 100%. 100%. <laughs> yeah, you know, I've, I've been I've been hearing this for decades at this point. <laughs> the more you know. <coughs> which year is this? Which year is, wait, which year is... I guess which year that we were playing Dead or Alive 2? It must have been like 2005? 2003? Yeah, it was, you know, probably, it was probably... Like, was it when we lived together? Yeah, which was 2003 and 2004. Yeah. What was funny, and we were, you know, not to like dig up ancient history, but we were not great roommates at the time. No, I'm not a very good roommate. Before. Well, I'll take responsibility too. But we're both, we're much better friends when we're not living together. Yeah. It's way better, folks. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... There, I've, I gotta keep up with the chat here. Open Source Man has jumped in, too. Uh, welcome, Open Source Man. Good to see you again. He's gonna send me a message on Discord. Ooh, I look forward to secret. Something secret. There's also... But that reminds me, too, for those who don't know, if you want to get into the Discord, I got Nightbot working. So I've now got commands in chat. Boom, check it out. Check out the Discord. And there's a link. You can join in. Wow. It's super empty. Every once in a while I post art. And that's mostly it. Um, I've literally never been to Discord. Yeah. Young Bung's got a comment about Dead or Alive Extreme. That's the fighting volleyball game chock full of scantily clad women. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. And you're like some rich guy that basically just buys them stuff and like... It's, it's very, it's very creepy. The funny thing is, like, it's different gifts, and the girls have different preferences. So you can give them gifts that they don't like. And well, it's like, well, anyway, not to get, not to get into the whole creepiness of the situation. Yeah. But it's certainly, it's certainly an idea for a game. I'll say, I'll be, I'll be charitable and say that. This is a fun. Game. Yeah. You jealous that I'm doing it? A bit. You want me to die? <laughs> Are you rooting for me to die? <laughs> whoa, whoa. This is like one of those whoa, Mario Maker levels. I mean, yeah. well, a less extreme version, right? Have you seen these? Oh, yeah. You better go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Ah, you got your wish. <laughs> this is what I get for not paying attention. <laughs> you, you turn around for one second. Yeah, no, it's like I, I'm, I'm pretty decent at this game. I'm not oh, amazing at it, mm -hmm. but like... Mario Maker, that's just, it's just, it's too much. I, I don't think. Yeah. I don't think gonna do that. So that's not one you're considering buying on Switch? It's it's one of those things that as a, if as kids in the 90s, we never would have guessed people would eventually have the option to legitimately make their own Mario levels. Right. But that's something people used to do that, like in school, they would draw out Mario levels on notebook paper. Sorry, I'm, I'm distracting them from this very important level. Killing it. Young Bung, good quote. I'm your sugar daddy, so kill each other. <laughs> That's basically the way the game works. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we kind of... Is this it? Have we hit our... Have it, we... No, like, this level is actually easier if you don't have a feather. Okay. Because... Because you're floating. You're not because, floating. Because you don't fly up and hit the spikes. So, yeah. I... It's really not hard. Right. Unless... You're terrible at it. Maybe again, maybe it was a good idea that we didn't have morning beers. 
I mean, I think that's usually a pretty good idea. Uh -huh. It can be a lot of fun, though, too. It can so. be. Not when you're trying to get the world record. Or is that ship sailed for this that one? That ship is way, <laughs> way past. All right, okay, this is... I gotta start running to the left immediately. It's really counterintuitive, too, because Mario... I'm much more used to running to the right. Oh, no, it's coming down again. What the heck? You got it. Give me a mushroom, dude. You can get extra in here the same way if you want, but it's not right. You don't really need it. There is like a mushroom over to the right, I think. Okay. You knew it. You knew it. on my path. You're, you're doing great, man. Should I go up the other side? Yeah, probably. Oh, this is the big bad. The big bad. I'm scurred. Yeah, which... Oh, you guys, is this Ludwig? Ludwig I thought Von this was... Koopa. Oh, it is. Okay. I, for some reason, I thought I was dealing with the rhinos. I guess that's the other miniature Yeah, castle. You, you don't... That's... Oh, what's his name? Um, but yeah... That's never on the... Ah! Ah! Okay. Is the bridge going to start disappearing? Ah! <laughs> I am starting to lean into it now. <laughs> what uh -oh. the... You went to... You went... Oh, no. I was robbed! No. I don't feel good about that. Uh-uh. That was... Some, that was bullshit. My lucky cowboy hat's not doing anything. You got it this time, though, right? You ended up getting a lot more lives than I did at some point. Yeah, I'm very good at I'm <laughs> very good at Mario. Do you think we'll go all the way today? I mean, we can. We could? Okay. Yeah. You got it in you? Oh, yeah. It's it's really novel. And and honestly, Bowser is one of the easiest main boss fights in a game mm -hmm. ever. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, the only problem is, like you pointed out, if eventually we get carpal tunnel from these controllers. Yeah, yeah. Just like, I basically won't have a thumb for it. now as I see it is you're such a hit on the stream that it's going to be rough doing another stream without you in the future. I have to retire. Because <laughs> you're in town visiting, but you're visiting from out of town. Yes. So even if we want to do it again, it's not super easy. We could always do a Zoom conference. Yeah, I mean, not to mention I'm like always at work. In oh, that's right. It's, it's the middle of the work day right now. I always forget that. Don't worry, I've got it this time. Is it getting to you? No, no, it's this... fine. It just... This is not a hard level. It's, that's, the, that's the thing. Not as hard as we make it look. No. You can tell everyone in Twitch lane is rooting for us, though. Our elder millennial um, Twitch muscles are not what they used to be. Yeah, my broken mush brain. You saw me hit that block. I did. I did see it. 
I think actually, <laughs> I, I blame it on the emulation. I, I'm, I was going to say the exact same thing. Sometimes emulators do some weird shit. If this was real hardware, we wouldn't be in this situation. I've asked this before on the stream. <laughs> I've asked if people, like, if you're watching a Twitch stream, do you want the person to do well or do you want them to fail? What's more entertaining? I mean, you want them to fail, right? I, yeah. If so, that's then we're, people we're play a great like, success. That's why people play like Jump King, because it's just like endless failure. Mm -hmm. That game looks so awful to play. I don't even know which one that is. I think I've heard the title, but I'm not even sure what the setup is. I mean, so you're, you're trying to climb... Yeah, we, we are hitting our stride. You're, like, trying to climb a tower to save a princess or whatever, but, like, all, the way you do it is you have to, like, jump onto, like, platforms and stuff. Mm -hmm. But basically, like, how long you hold the jump determines how far you're going to go and stuff like that. So it's just... It's just a brutally difficult game, and and sometimes you like make a lot of progress and then you fall and you like you basically just lose like thirty minutes of your life. Mm. Yeah, I don't like the sound of it. <clears throat> okay. Relax. I think you got it this time. That's what I think. Appreciate the confidence. Are there another power ups on this? Honestly, I, I don't I don't I'm not sure. There might be, but the best game ever released according to the Young Bung is Big Rigs over the road racing. It's news to me. <laughs> we'll have more to say about that in just a minute. But first, this guy is gonna win. Pattern recognition, mode seven graphics, big rigs over the road racing. Is that a Super Nintendo game? <laughs> Is that a Super Nintendo? <laughs> I only played rock and roll racing. Ooh, that was good. The, the Super Nintendo had a lot of great racing games, as it turned out. Yeah. Rock and roll racing is solid. Yeah. And it's got those great tracks. Yeah, dude. It was just like radar love all day long. 30% of the time, you win every time. <laughs> all the time. That's what Young Bunk says. I mean... I bet it'd be tough to get the rock and roll racing on the virtual console or whatever because of the music licensing. It's the yeah. Grand Theft Auto Vice City problem. Right. So so see how I gave the, the hill a boo-boo? Uh-huh. Well, he's about to grow up. I, I guess that's uh, look. that's like a metaphor. See? That makes sense. He's a big boy now. Yeah. Careful with Bonk in this because oh, the mic will yeah. pick it up. You can get a lot of extra mana in this level too. Okay, I'll do that. It's a lot. It's it's a tricky one now. My controller turned off again. I can't hit the button. What should I turn on turbo? <laughs> I think probably not. <laughs> okay. You know I do. Do you have this stance too, where you're just holding? Which button is it? Holding Why? the Y button the entire time you're playing? Hundred percent of the time. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a mushroom up there. Well, there was a Koopa behind that tree. Cool. All right, let's see if I can get the extras. 
Check out some of the exhilarating gameplay of Big Rig sometime. Who thought that game was okay to release needs to apologize to humanity? Oh, so it's one of those okay. angry video game nerd situations. Right, right. Where you you play it because it's bad. Dude, I watched him play like the Ghost in the Wild. Like, remembering the torture. Mm -hmm. We've got that on here too. There's a Super Ghouls and Goblins right. on the SNES Classic. But it's just gonna upset us if we try to play yeah, it. Let's let's just not. Because that was, I think that's the one you're talking about. He played the Super Nintendo version. No, I watched him play the the, the Nintendo. Yeah, but it's literally the hardest game I've ever played in my life. So, and it's just not even good. Well, here's a screenshot you can see from Big Rigs. Oh, it looks amazing. Here, pause that real quick. I wanna, I'll just throw this up on the screen. So, not really much to say except for. I don't think I want to play it. Mm -hmm. No. It's just like it. The truck is just like a dark brown square. On... <laughs> Boop. But it's got some nice tail lights. Nightbot timed out the young bung for some reason. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, young bung. I don't know what happened. He did a boop for Nightbot and it, it auto, auto timed him <laughs> out. Nightbot. Does not appreciate being booped. My bad. <laughs> My bad. I don't, is that what's uh, is that what Nightbot's supposed to do? I have no idea. I said yes in all caps. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the yeah. Don't worry, I'm not actually upset with what you did. That was just sort of a Nightbot being overprotective, I assume. Of this all game. right, here we go. You ready? I'm ready. Oh yeah, this is it. I remember this bit. This one. It's tight. So. Oh. Oh, Jesus. You're in a bad situation. Good situation. Was it a video? Young Bung is asking, was it a video? I think about the big rigs. It was just a screenshot from Google Images. Uh, it may have been connected to a video. Like it could have been like a YouTube thumbnail or something. But I don't know. I need. To, I feel like I need to do some more research on this big rigs. Yeah, I mean, dude, you gotta, you gotta bring it back. <laughs> I don't want to be responsible for that. Make it the new Twitch meta. What's the most recent meta? What's what's blown up? You said it was Super Auto Pets? Yeah, dude, Super Auto Pets. <laughs> Young Bung, you know about Super Auto Pets? It's the wave of the future, apparently. Okay, what are these guys' name? Uh, they might be the urgent, actually. Yeah, I don't know. I forget. Mini Minefield? It looks like it's a mine. And these guys look like they're wearing goggles. These little green fish shows. Ice Firefly is here, calling me daddy in the chat. Oh no, it made me die. Oh, 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 oh. No way, this is fine. This is fine. Ice Firefly, hello. Daddy Doc, that's me. To daddy. Oh, you're daddy too. Yay. <laughs> How do you feel about that, JC? I mean, I'll take it. Welcome, you know? welcome to the wonders of online interactions. Luckily, I'm not a real father. Yeah, happy not a father's day. <laughs> Those references still play. I talk to Zoomers all the time, and they're like, yeah, How I Met Your Mother is still cool. It's not like Night Court. <laughs> this is like more of a maze than I remember. This is the level where you can get the purple, purple blocks. Or at least get to that spot. Okay. Well, if I don't get that, you get it. Fish is asleep. Yeah. Rip Van Fishy. Rip, lip, yeah. It's okay. something like that, right? Go, go left. It is Rip Van Fishy. Yeah, it's something like that. Boom. Oh, this is it. This is it. I did it. Did it. 
two daddies. It's oh, bear daddy. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the bear. There's no collision in big rigs, so you literally phase through the bridge <laughs> and drive down the ravine and back up at like an 80 degree angle. And I've seen super auto pets come up on recommended. It's re it's really fun. I, I you guys should check it out sometime. Watch Northern Lion or somebody play yeah. Super Auto Pets. It's really fun. It's funny. John knows so much better than I do. Like the, some of the big names on Twitch. Yeah. yeah. Northern Lion. Lud Ludwig plays Super Auto Pets a lot. Um, but it's it's a lot of fun to watch, and it seems like a lot of fun to play. I like this take too. The Young Bunk says, "How I Met Your Mother" is the only show with a canned laugh track that you can stand. That's fair. And I, I that not is even fair. like Seinfeld. Uh, I don't know, but Seinfeld's back on Netflix. Have you been rewatching it? No, uh -uh, but I probably will. When's the last time you watched a, a Seinfeld episode? It's the '90s. It's like since the last Seinfeld episode aired. Probably. Back in the back in the remember the '90s. All right, so I got to do it again. Yeah. You get the f I. Oh, I get all the hard stuff. Hey man. What? How about I do this? Is there another direction? Yeah, thing? you can go. You can go left, and there's a Star Road entrance that way too. Um, but if we're if we want to just barrel through and beat the game, just do, go this do way. the water level. Okay. Yeah. Ice Firefly says Friends is a good show. Um, my buddy Jack, check out his channel, Jack on Cable TV, just did a Friends episode on his stream. Talk, well, talking about the show with his wife. Um, so that was fun. I recommend it. Jack on Cable TV on Twitch. Does he like friends? Yeah. I, uh, I'm not, I mean, I don't dislike friends. I think what's, my favorite episode of friends is the Van Damme episode, but it's, it's weird. Surprising. Surprising. But it's, it's weird because it was like that moment in time where Van Damme was a legitimate Hollywood star. Uh -huh. So he's not being cast ironically as like, oh, we're going to make fun of Van Damme. It was the right. brief moment in time where he was literally being marketed as actually cool. Right. Um, and I think he's cool. He's like great at martial arts, but you have to understand now, like, you know, that movie we watched, JCBD, where he's talking about, you know, being sort of an also ran, mm -hmm. you know, his, his best days are behind him sort of thing. Yeah. But his best days were like that season of Friends where, who is it, Monica and Rachel are fighting over Van Damme? Like, who's going <laughs> to date him? And it's just like, you, it's, I almost don't even buy it happening at the time. Yeah. But it was like, that was... It, and then, you know, in later seasons, they get the legitimate, like, Brad Pitt shows up. Right. And that makes sense, right? That still makes sense, like, 20 years later. Yeah. It's like, this guy is a super hot uh, dude who everybody wants. Tom, Tom Selleck was a thing. Yeah. Tom Selleck makes sense, too. He's, like, he's like in between Van Damme and uh, Brad Pitt uh -huh. in terms of making sense. Sure. Can I go through this one or just them? Oh, don't, don't follow. Yeah, just them. You got it. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. This is emulation striking again. This is see, when it's bouncing coming back, if that was the if that was the Super Nintendo, I guarantee you that mushroom would fall. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Watch Seinfeld or Friends with the laugh tracks removed. It's scary. I would imagine so. It shows how unfunny the show's horror is what Young Bunny is saying. Yeah, Not trying to start a fight. Yeah, me neither. We should fight. <laughs> we should fight about the best sitcoms. We've all got strong opinions, I'm should sure. We, should we bring in Van Damme? If we're talking about fighting? I would love to. You think he can still do the splits? Absolutely. Did you see that? I almost want to show it on the stream. Did you see that Volkswagen commercial where he's on the semi-trucks? And he does the... Um, all right, let's pause it. I'm not going to play the audio because it has like an Inya track and we'll get, we'll get DMCA'd. But I'm pulling this up. Everybody bear with me. We're having a Van Damme moment. So you don't even need... The, you won't even be able to hear the audio anyway, but I'm just going to turn it off. And the splits are the important thing here. Oh, I have seen this. You showed it to me. Yeah. I'm not saying don't watch it. Do yeah. Watch it if you want. For those who haven't seen it, maybe in the chat, let's check it out. So we can talk over it because it's not going to be any audio there. I mean, he's... but this is him. I guess it's sunset. So they got to get the light just right. They got one take to do it, but he's literally up on these trucks 
and the trucks like they're the advertisement is for the precision steering for these new Volkswagen trucks. Uh-huh. And it's just like they go away and well, you see, he's going to do the splits. So this was three or four years ago. Uh, so he still had it as of then. And I assume he still does. Oh, Volvo. I'm sorry. I'm giving free press to Volkswagen. <laughs> My bad. Completely different. Look at those guys. They've got a stressful part of the job too. Yeah. Don't don't, <laughs> don't kill, go too don't far. Don't kill Van Dam. Don't kill Van Dam. <laughs> Jesus, that's a no for me. Yeah. And there are, to be honest, there is like digitally removed wires. Okay, holding them up. Yeah, but he's still doing the splits. Yes, he is. Yeah. Oops. Looks just like that back there. Oh yeah, I got a Van Dam photo in the background too. Volvo dynamic steering. So there you go. Anyway, that's it. Cool. That is cool. Big rigs. Good stuff, Jean. Anyway, was I in the middle of a Mario game? Yeah. Seems like I might have been. You're running out of time. I'm paused. I mean, when when you un- unpause it. Does it just like catch, does the clock catch up? <laughs> no, but you've only got, you got almost a minute. Only. A little less than that because it's like faster than actual seconds, right? Yeah, I guess so. We don't have time for all this dilly dallying. This, this is the end joke. Don't wake up! Don't wake up these these rip band fishies. Actually, it's kind of good if you do because you get points for them. Oh, if, you, if you can draw in enough, you can get an extra man there. So yeah, as Ice Firefly, Ice Firefly so graciously points out, I am an open-minded daddy duck. <laughs> Uh, my waifu, my actual waifu, my real life waifu, Alana is doing great. Thank you for asking. And then, I guess no comment on. You, have you heard this term before, JC? What? You know when people say waifu, what they're talking about? No. It's like your your make believe girlfriend. Oh my waifu. Oh. It's like talking about like the the cartoon girl you have a crush on that sort of thing. Okay. Do you have one of those? Do you have a waifu? Uh, or even like an actress would fit the bill. Yeah, I've got about 4,000. <laughs> I've got about 4,000 waifus. <laughs> I think probably historically for me, I would I would have said Charlize Theron, you know, when we were back in high school and college. Okay. That would yeah. have been my waifu. Yeah. Um, lately, it's, which this happens literally every season, but that I watch the Great British Baking Show, but it's right now one of the characters on the there's a, <laughs> one of the contestants. There's a waifu on there. Oh, dude, she is something else. She's waifu material. Not to objectify anybody. These are real people, by the way. Uh, and Youngbung says Parks and Rec is good. You like Parks and Rec? Mm-hmm. The linebacker in its natural habitat. This is from when he was underwater, I'm sure. Char- Char- uh, Charge and Chuck underwater. His natural habitat. He's doing a, like the underwater training, right? Because if you can punch under there... Or yeah. run under there, you're better on the field. Right. Absolutely. I think. Resistance. A 2D relationship. That's another word for the waifu situation. Okay. I guess, and what about, would you admit on a live stream to like having a crush on a comic book character? Probably not. No? Okay. No X-Men characters? Oh, I mean, what's her name? Psylocke? Yeah. Yeah, always. All right, I so guess. you got to be honest so, yeah, about I, that. I, I guess so. Yeah, but... Psylocke from the X-Men. That's fair. I mean, you and I have talked about this. Like, she, yeah, she just is always the one. Mm-hmm. And you're talking about the one, the Psylocke, when she's in the Asian body, right? Because there is a switch. She's originally British. Okay. She's the sister of Captain Britain, and they do a body swap thing in the. I actually have the issues behind us somewhere. I can pull it out when you're on the next level. I'm, I'm probably thinking of like Marvel masterpieces, Psylocke or something. Yeah, yeah, but that's that is the the most famous one is basically the Asian, Asian version of the character. Because okay. it's the same mental brain, but they swapped brains between this Asian girl uh-huh. and the British girl. Okay. And then she was like that for, I think, up to like 2018. So like the majority of the character's lifespan in the comic was the not real version, the uh-huh. not the original body version. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't recall having ever read a Psylocke comic book. Woo! Or like one with her in it. But. Yeah. Well, while you're doing, you're loading up this next thing. I'll just pull out the issues because I got them behind us. Word. I got them handy. Dang, that 
it's not the exit we needed. Mrs. Incredible is Mrs. Incredible is thicker than a milkshake. You ever heard that one before? Nope. But you I know mean, I've heard thicker than a milkshake. But sure, you remember but, Mrs. But Incredible? I think more so I've heard thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, before I pick my next level, so here's the, the one where the Mandarin kidnaps her, puts her in the Asian body. So this is the first appearance of the Psylocke that everyone's familiar with. Up here in the corner. That's still the British version. Okay. But anyway, for people at home, if you're curious, here's the X-Men comic where Psylocke stops being British and starts being Japanese for a 30-year period. And then it's like they forgot. Here's the next one. Now she's going to cut up Wolverine. But it's like they forgot what they had done, and it was just like the new normal. Yeah. There you go. Fair enough. Psylocke. Sexy Psylocke. So I like her. I would understand uh, like a Jean Grey fascination too. Yeah, I mean that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. She, she's terrifying though. Oh, because she's got the Phoenix power? Yeah, and like she's just powerful in general. What should I do here? Should I go uh, back to this level? Yeah, so there's an exit we have to find from here. And do I you forget, know where it is? I forget. But oh my I gosh. Mean, I, like I'll I will i will look for it. I'm sure I'll spot it. Well, that didn't work. Mm -hmm. That's a terrible plan. I'm gonna try every pipe. I'm a plumber. I gotta try every pipe. Right, this goes here. So. <laughs> oh! Yeah, we're we're starting to not be good at this. We're so, anymore. <laughs> but we're so close. We're almost at. Do you want to do you want to hack it? You want to go back to an easy Star Road access um, and go in the back door of Bowser's Castle just so we can say we beat the game? I mean, we could. Let's. If you don't get it this time, let's. Well, I, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go okay. to the other Star World and try. Right. You do that. <sighs> we'll see who gets there first. <laughs> I love the next world. But this is by far, far, far the problem. But... The Choco World. Yeah. It's the one I probably played the least because usually as a kid I would just end up going in the Star Road. I, I have like a really good extra man hack on one of the levels there that I found myself very proud of it. Mm -hmm. And again, to really drive the point home, I'm at like 10 lives and John's at 35. So <laughs> clearly someone here is better <laughs> at holding on to their life in this game. It's all working. It's all coming together. Yeah. Organized chaos, baby. Okay. All right. If I was born a little earlier, I probably would have had that Farrah Fawcett poster. <laughs> but I still love... You've seen the Cannonball Run, right? Mm -hmm. That movie's so good. But I'm definitely, I'm definitely becoming a boomer because I'm, I'm racking my brain trying to think of more 3D waifus, so to speak, like actresses. And the people that are coming to mind are like people that were famous 20, 30, 40 years ago. When I was a kid, it was probably Patty Mayonnaise for a little while. <laughs> From the cartoon Doug. <laughs> hey Doug, honk honk. God damn it. Is this it? Oh. How are you going to get in there? Oh, you can... Okay, all right. Dang, you're pretty good. <laughs> but if you if you want to do the Star Road thing, go ahead. I'm going to go to Star Road. So... Watch me wander off on the map. Probably... Probably the easiest is... the donut. Is the donut. So yeah. I should go... I'll go to the top secret area, pick up a couple... Yeah, feathers, yeah, yeah. and then run up the wall, right? There you go. And I don't think 
I, I don't believe Top Secret Area um, concedes your turn either. Oh, that'd be funny. Yeah, that would kind of suck. I'm actually, I'm okay with that. The feathers are on the right side, FYI, so don't go right side first. You want to go left side first. L wait, left first? Yeah, I mean, you can go push it or whatever, but, but basically... I'm gonna do it again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can do this a hundred times. Yeah. Gally Gal is pointing out that it might be a good idea in a day or two. You know, as an affiliate, I have to stay exclusive for 24 hours on Twitch. Okay. But then I can move the stream to YouTube. She says I should do it because there's some kids that might want to watch it because they're into Mario. <laughs> and probably also all this conversation about what cartoon characters we find attractive. Yeah. That's, that's you know kids are into that right? definitely <laughs> definitely so wait is it this one? Oh, i i would go i sorry yeah so not donut planes i would go back to the one remember when i was i was going to show it to you earlier in the vanilla cavern you, yeah but you needed the the purple block and so we, we did it we have that now. okay so now we can okay yeah so it's up on the left yeah but it's funny i know I, I, again, I've got some nephews that are really into Mario as a character, and like they get Mario toys, uh -huh. but they don't understand video games. They don't know that they exist yet. Right. It's like a parenting decision, I think. Interesting. But they, they're in on the universe of Mario. Okay. And they watch like YouTube videos of essentially gameplay, but they don't know that they could be controlling Mario. <laughs> I want to be there whenever they find it out because it's going to blow their mind. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a lot more fun, let's be honest. There was that phenomenal film in the 90s starring John Leguizamo. Young Bugs is thinking uh, they gotta sterilize their conduct in the chat too if we're gonna put this on YouTube for the kids. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm not good at that. It's really, it's fine. We honestly run a fine line. Uh, we're walking a fine line between appropriate, like G-rated and R. I think we do a, a fair enough job. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's always just one or the other. <laughs> it's never in between. <laughs> you know that was like up to Indiana Jones and the Temple of Dune. It went like G, P, G, R. There was no PG-13. I did not know that. And I think even before, there was a point where it was just G or R. I, I don't know that with 100% certainty, but I think it was either everyone can see it or you have to be an adult. Huh. Because it wasn't like, an, they didn't really have a thought about, oh, these movies are for raunchy teenagers. Right? Like the whole American Pie situation. Uh -huh. I feel like we're getting it. Yeah. So, yeah. Perfect. No problemo. You're in. I'm in the Star Road, baby. I don't think I'm saying anything modern kids don't already know. That's almost definitely true. Yikes! It's fine. Turn them into a coin. They don't already know. Alright, so now it's a race. It's a race to Bowser. Mm hmm. If I don't die on these levels, I like my chances. Well, the actual Star Road levels aren't really that hard. Right. You just but... gotta get the right exit. Yeah, there's that. And just. I still have to go through three or four of them, right? Yeah. So. Honestly, if I don't die, you have to go through more levels because there's at least six levels in Choco World. Yeah. There's like a pirate ship. There's Bowser Land or whatever you call it. Yeah. Does it stop being food themed at that point? I or is think it like so. Bowser's Spicy Taco Valley? <laughs> that, yeah, that is. <laughs> Jesus. It's, it's Bowser's Spicy Taco Valley. Yeah. Bowser's Big Bean Burrito is the Young Bunny suggestion. Yep. Good stuff right there. I'm glad you're doing this. I think the older I get, just the less tolerance I have for any sort of, like, shifting level. 
you know, where the screen's moving to the right the whole time, or uh -huh. like you're on something that, like a platform that can expire. Like all that stuff. It's not my cup of tea. Yikes! Yikes! I guess, alright, here's Advantage Doctor. Because I'm on the Star Road. Have we 100% of this game yet? What do you think we're at percentage wise? Uh, 30%? Right in, no, we're, we're higher than that. We're probably at about 50% right now. It's a weird game to 100% because, like, some of it is very, it feels very arbitrary to do. Mm -hmm. Like, there are some exits in the game that it's it's just like, don't, you don't get anything from it. Like, every exit isn't necessarily advantageous. Like, there are levels when you exit a certain way and you just go nowhere. <laughs> All right, come on, turn into a dinosaur. Are you ready? Buddy. There you go. The star would just make him big immediately, right? I fudged it up. Let's see if you get the right exit here. Surely, surely you know what to do. Surely I... Of course I do, but don't call me Shirley. You ever see that movie Airplane? Mm -hmm. It didn't work. It did work! That dude had a, a serious drinking problem. You know, I don't... To be completely honest, I'm not sure I've seen Airplane all the way through. Really? From beginning to end. It's good. But I've seen so many of the scenes out of order. So, you, but do you know what I'm talking about when I say the drinking problem? No, remind, is that where he's sweating a lot? Uh, if you just, I go under it. Yeah. Um, he's like, and then I developed a drinking problem. He's telling like his life story or something, mm -hmm. and it cuts back to him, and he takes a sip of water and he just pours it down his face. <laughs> <laughs> Even describing it is funny. That's such a good joke. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I really love. Anything, uh, not anything Leslie Nielsen, but anything Police Squad or Naked Gun. Mm -hmm. Those are so good. I think Leslie Nielsen had some stinkers. Sure. But, it, you know, he was like a serious actor 50 years ago. Right. And then eventually they just realized, you know, he's kind of like Will Ferrell in the sense that just being there, he's funny. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Or uh seth meyers said this about fred armison he said every time fred armison is serious he has to announce it he has to tell you and this is not a joke and you still think it's a joke <laughs> <laughs> like if fred armison came over he's like hey your car is in my spot in the parking lot so you're gonna have to move it and you would just think he's he's fucking with you you're just like oh, oh okay. <laughs> fred you're so funny <laughs> <laughs> If you liked Airplane, you'd like Playtime. Is that the one, is Playtime the, the one Donkey did a video about? The French film? Do you remember this? I do remember the video, but I don't know if that's, I don't, I don't know if that's the same thing. Young Bun, can you verify? Did Donkey do a video about this and is it French? In the Pentagon Wars. That one I don't know anything about, but I'll look it up. Playtime, yeah, it is the 60s, the 1967 comedy film directed by Jacques Tati. Tati, I don't know. Tatus. No. And then Pentagon Wars. Dude, I might join you on the Star Road. Uh -huh. This is a comedy from 98. That sounds good. It's got John C. McGinley. You know, the one of the grumpy doctors from Scrubs. Okay, yeah. He was another guy that was like... A serious, like he's in Point Break as an angry cop. He's in SWAT, I think, as a SWAT guy. Okay. And then eventually he just becomes like a comedy version of himself. Right. It's. I think it's easier to go. Wait, what do you think? Is it easier to be a comedy guy first, like Jim Carrey, and then take on a serious role, or be a serious guy first and then become John Hamm and just be funny on the side? Uh. What's the better career move? I think the the latter. But I don't know how to act at all, so I have no idea, really. Uh -huh. You know, even though I was in, like, high school and college plays, I'm not sure I know how to act either. <laughs> I'm not sure you do. <laughs> Ouch. It's got the bobs. Yeah, the John C. McGinley is also, he's a bob in office space, remember? He's like, what would you say it is you do here? <laughs> office space is great. Yeah. It's funny, I appreciated it at the time, and I still appreciate it. I've had, like... 
those office jobs before. Mm -hmm. But I never got as far as like unscrewing the cubicle and knocking it over. <laughs> right? I didn't get that loose with the situation. No. no. But office space is great. Young Bung uh, verified. He loves Donkey 2. Playtime was the movie that Donkey talked about. If I can find, I'll definitely check these out. If I can find a digital copy somewhere. I don't know if they're streaming, but I also, I get stuff on Voodoo sometimes. Or Fandango. It's Sir. combined. It's the same thing. That movie looks really strange, but uh, but Donkey seemed to, ah. to enjoy it. Yeah, it's kind of neat that. Ah. I, I, I didn't do it right. <laughs> but hey, you got that feather. I got that feather. Yeah, I just I am sorry. I panicked. I panicked and I ran over. <laughs> but now you you've got a chance. If you want to come over to the Star Road, dude, I'm making my way up, bro. <laughs> making my way up. Roy's castle. Roy. Roy's gonna be like, hey, what happened to Dad? When you beat Bowser and you didn't beat Roy, get it? You do that one. Oh, yeah. If this was a newer game, there would be like a separate ending. If you beat all the kids first before you beat Bowser. True. True. And we'd be like going after Platt. Nice. D nice joining the chat. D nice, good to see you again. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, it's, we're throwing on some freaking retro vibes today with Super Mario World. And believe it or not, we're definitely going to beat it. We're two hours in, but I think we got this before the three hour mark. <laughs> Especially if Luigi here takes the lead. There you go. Get on his cloud. How are you going to get up there? Oh. Can this work? Shit. I'm not sure it can. You can always speed this guy blocks. Yeah, my turn next. Oh, you like your chances oh, here? God. You like your child? Oh, Cloud's gone. Oh, so I get the Pentagon Wars for two bucks on Amazon. I like the sound of that. Oh yeah, that's what I, I did need to feed him blocks and then I can use Yoshi to hop up to the cloud. Damn it. Oh, because he flies. Well, you just gotta no, eat something you, you and then can you, just, you can jump and then jump out of Yoshi and then get to the cloud. The blue one's the flying one. The blue one's the flying one. This guy's a stomper. He's the sound, the, the sand pound. Whoop. That counts too. Yikes! Got it. How about these apples? That's not how they say that. Mm -mm. That's not what the, that's not what the phrase is. Not the thing, but um, but how would we know? We're old. <laughs> you ever done it like that? You ever <laughs> stayed in your cloud and put the key in? I think I have. Let's see, this is not. Cobra Kana, this is Nona speaking. Just a moment. More office space lines. Oh, yeah. And we didn't even say this, it's got the Dread Pirate Roberts, Carrie Elways is in the Pentagon Wars, so is Frasier, Kelsey Grammer. Who you know! When when Kelsey Grammer is, he's another one of those guys that when he acts with dignity, it's pretty funny too. Later, Yoshi. Alright, we made it. We're tearing it up. This, I think this is it. I think that's the... This is the right star? I think that's the back door. <laughs> that's the back door. To the big bean burrito? Yes. Yes. 
wow, 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 wow. They kind of these uh, that sound effect kind of reminds me of the Star Fox voices. Okay. If you, did you ever play that one on Super Nintendo? No, not really. I mean, I played it, but I didn't own it. There was a competition at Walmart when it was released. Like, if you can beat the game in five minutes, we'll see you at Disney World. I don't think it was possible. But I, I still, I competed in the competition. I got a Star Fox t-shirt out of it. Yay. If I was thinking ahead, though, I would have been like, give me extra large. Because I was a kid. It's like a kid's medium. <laughs> I can't wear it now. I think my brother's kid still has the shirt. Nice. So that's nice. I feel like, for me, Star Fox sort of owed prowess to one people. Mm -hmm. Well, definitely now you look at it and you're like, what the? You can't you can't release this today. Do I want door one? Do you know the door I want? I I think maybe Five. two, but I mean, you can only go to four here, but um, oh. you have I to think do it's this two. twice. I, I want to say two, but they're, none of them are really that bad. Yeah, this is definitely one, two. This is the one. That was actually an accident. Oh, those on my side. I'm really overly cautious sometimes yeah, with these little games. Probably. What do you think, five? I, I think five is pretty easy. Uh, yeah, five's really easy. Just run it. Yep. That didn't work. That didn't. Oh shit! Sorry, you don't just run it. <laughs> that didn't work. You, you wanted to beat the game, didn't you? You, you did this so it. you got to beat Bowser. You have to time it. Well, you know it's definitely two. Yeah. You're going to go with two. Definitely two. Oh, I might go with five. And you might beat the game. Which is good, because whenever we beat this, I'm starting to feel like a lunch situation. I'm starving. People know what it means when I put my sandwich icon emote in the chat. Like, I was getting ready for lunch. Well, you maybe think about a raid, too. Is there anyone, if anyone in the chat has a recommendation for a channel that we should show some support, some love to, just let us know. Otherwise, I'll pick someone that's already, that I'm already following that's streaming. But a very consistent stream. We didn't drop out once. Good chat. Great uh, chat with a new follower, especially the Young Bung. And thanks also to Jamaican Senpai for throwing down some bits. You'll love to see it. This guy's playing Subnautica. Nice. Well, that wasn't the one you were into. You were into, what was the one that you stranded on a desert Yeah, island? Stranded Deep. I stranded fucking deep. loved that game. It was way more fun to me than it had any right to be. Uh -huh. Oh, we're definitely the biggest Mario World channel right now. This guy's got 1.8k. 463. Actually, I guess it continues to be very popular, right? There's so many people streaming this at the moment. Yeah, but a lot of what they do nowadays, it's it's different. They're doing it's called bomb hacks, mm -hmm. so it's like it's it's like Mario Maker. Barbara's King streams Mario. Looks like a lot of them have like the speedrun stuff set up. Yeah. So that's what they're into. Alright, Princess. Give me that mushroom. None of the Young Bungs followers are online at the moment. Which is too bad. Did we do it? Oh, it's still going. Great. <laughs> it's not the best looking version of the Princess. <laughs> He's not waifu material here. As they say. Actually, even just the animation of like her flapping her arm just kind of spooks me out. Yeah. It's all pattern recognition. It's really easy. That's Ooh, Critical Rage. Do you know Critical Rage? Let's give it a go. I'm willing to try out new things. A, a young Scottish boy. Well, I don't know about young, but Scottish boy. 
Oh, I was hoping you would win. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'm starving, dude. <laughs> All right, what did you do? Two and five. Yeah, five is actually really easy. I just gotta uh, wait for just, it. You just gotta wait for it. And then I wasn't even paying attention to the patent. It's been a while. I beat Bowser. I swear, I've done it before. You just gotta. So when he when he drops the mech, you, yeah. you got it. You gotta do. Yeah. I'm so hungry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we have to beat the game. We have to do this. Uh, no, I should. I should do this. If we don't get it, maybe we should just go back and get some some uh, some capes, though. Yeah, that's a good idea too. Critical Rage looks like he's playing Apex Legends. I'm gonna check it out. Let's go, JC. He woke up. That little guy woke up. <laughs> Damn it. I've only got nine lives left. I'm actually, I'm just gonna do it. I don't care. You got it. The young bunk saying, this critical rage fella plays with a big group of Scottish and Australian streamers. The quality and content changes a lot based on who is playing. Hey, that sounds very familiar. This is the best stream we've ever done. And it's all because JC was here. This guy. If you come back, you're going to be, I, I stream on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Young Bung, I hope you come back, but I'll guarantee you're going to be disappointed when, when JC's gone. It's going to be less of a stream. It's, it's actually really boring when I'm not here. Uh-huh. Do you think that's part of five, right? I mean, I think it's super easy, yeah, but uh, just wait. It, it goes down three spikes in. Should I, should I should I go back and here I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna run back. It'll take a second, but we are trying to get some food, y'all. Yeah, but we have to we have to win, otherwise we can't put it on YouTube. Right. It'll be it'll be a di unsatisfying lack of conclusion. Right. <laughs> but yeah, Jesus Christ is with us. Is what how Young Bung's phrasing it. He is risen. Yeah. We don't like to like throw the Christianity in your face. But if you're down with JC, that's cool with us, I'll say <laughs> that. <laughs> now, you know she's gonna be too afraid to go in the castle. Like having them around. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm really. I'm. I'm playing chicken with you, because I don't think I can beat the game. I need you to beat it. I mean, I, I certainly can, and I've done it recently, and I'm kind of embarrassed that it's taken me more than one time. Uh -huh. so. All right. Later, Yosh. 
You remember the cartoon version of Yoshi? He's like, oh, Mario, I'm scared. <laughs> We got the words that they have. Uh oh. Don't, don't get over anxious like I did. Woo! That was crazy close. Really close. It's crazy close. So those are like the little ninja star guys from Mario 2, making a comeback here. Yeah. Wasn't Mario 2 like not a Mario game in Japan? Right, I was going to say that. So it was originally, um, I think it's called Doki Doki Panic, is the Japanese version. But it was like, um, it was like a, a marketing tie-in for like some television show or something in Japan. Okay. So it was like, I, it was like a property that they assumed no one would have any interest in America. Right. But if they just changed just the sprites to Mario, turn, people like yeah. Mario. Yeah. And it is a fun game, but it is a weird game. That freaking dodo that like shoots eggs at you and stuff. <laughs> the young bun, I think this is a donkey reference. Super Mario Bros. 2, game of the year, every year. <laughs> Super Mario Bros. 2! There we go. This guy's about to have a knack attack. Here comes the money! That's mode seven, baby. Oh, that's a perfect fire drop right there. But also, Super Mario Brothers Two is very easy compared to one and three. Actually, don't know. Thank you, though. You said Mario Two is very easy. Yeah. It's, I mean, yeah, it is. I know but that because the very end of it is kind of hard, but. Well, I'm just saying, it's literally the first video game I ever beat. Okay. So, and there's like, I gotta dig this photo out, because I, you know, my mom took a photo of me in front of the TV. On the <laughs> end screen. Oh, that's so sweet. So, I gotta, I gotta dig that up and throw it on the screen at some point. Come on! You can do it! JC, JC, he's our man. If he can't do it, I certainly can. I thought you were playing Bookworm Adventures Deluxe. You should play that instead. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next time. Go ahead. There you go, there you go. Got it. That's that. It's not that, it's not that. No, I, there's one, one more face. And you know, they when they did the Super Nintendo collection that has the lost levels, uh -huh. that was originally Mario Brothers 2 in Japan, but they just assumed, oh, this is too hard for Americans. <laughs> that shit was hard, dude. Uh oh, <gasps> he's stressing me out. And again, that was one I know because when when we lived together, we had the Patrick Super Nintendo, I think. So he would play that. He would play Mario Brothers 1 on... Oh, oh crap. Oh, crap. Oh, I crap. I, I thought I had an extra feather. Got him. Ball game. Bitches. Yes! Yes! Oh. We did it. Now we gotta think about saying our goodbyes. as we watch the ending. So John, as this is going on, this adventure is over. Ours has just begun because our next adventure is lunch. It's lunch and it's gonna but be magnificent. Thanks for coming on the channel. Thanks also to you. You threw down a prime sub towards this channel. Yes, sir. So thanks for the support. Thanks I... to Jamaican Senpai for throwing down some bits. Yeah, yeah. Thanks Jamaican Senpai. Throw them Twitch Primes out, y'all. <laughs> if you got them. If you got them. And you ain't using them. 
Uh, and easy peasy for sure. The Young Bung, thanks for jumping in and being yeah. such a integral, integral part of the stream. Yeah. And it was a lot of fun. We couldn't have done it without you. Or we'll put it like this. If you weren't here, we would have given up. It's true. It's true. And uh, if you guys walk away from anything, I want it to be that I know how to pronounce the word doge. Uh-huh. And I, if I want you to walk away with anything, it's that it's actually doge. It's not. I'm going to... I'll uh, Yeah. Okay. So let me go ahead and set up facts. <coughs> Let's go ahead and set up this raid for... Uh, Critical, not rage. Critical rage. I think we got that right. One viewer, two viewers, three viewers. Ah, 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 ah. Four viewers ready to raid. So we'll go in there. We'll say hello. We probably won't stick around too long, though, because we're going to get something to eat. Yep. But that's Mario. If you want to play the game. Hey, first time chat from a viewer. Scope, TTV. Oh, he just wants me to become famous. Well, things are going pretty well up to the end. And then the bots came in. <laughs> So we had such a good run. Yeah, it was it was pretty solid. But anyway, that's it from us. Any final words from you? Goodbye. Goodbye. See you next time. I'll be back on Wednesday. Uh, but John will not be here. I will not. Anyway, see you guys. Have a good one. Peace out. <laughs>